Hello friends, ingredients from Iceland. This is unshared footage from a week ago when I did two flights about the newly spilled lava, the last lava which arrived in the lagoon area on February 8th. First we will fly over Blue Lagoon and you will see it from above. In the background you see Thorbjörnsfjall Volcano from the Ice Age which is right north of Grindavik. And all those lava fields which surround Blue Lagoon are called Swartz Engi or the Black Meadow. That's we have the magma accumulation ongoing process. The latest measurements by Icelandic Met Office report that currently we are at 7.6 million cubic meters of magma that has accumulated in Swartzengi Reservoir. Considering precursors of previous volcanic eruption in the Sundnukar crater row, likelihood of a volcanic eruption increases once the volume of magma reaches 8 to 13 million cubic meters. I think today we already did. So it might take some days still before we hit 13. And the lagoon remains open. It is full of people every day. People seem to enjoy it. It's very unlikely that we will see volcanic eruption right in the Blue Lagoon or within the walls of Blue Lagoon uh, fenced area. Most likely along the Sunuka Giga Crater, uh, the most recent earthquakes indicate the possibility of eruption east of Silengafat Mount. We might see no eruption too. We shouldn't exclude such scenario as well. According to Icelandic Met Office, it is also possible that a dike intrusion occurs without resulting in a volcanic eruption. Now we will fly towards geothermal power plant which supplies neighboring communities with hot water and electricity. That's, that's how it looks from above and you see hot water pipes going every direction towards Grindavik, towards Blue Lagoon and also north to Kaplovik. This is the geothermal facility of Svartsengi or the Black Meadow, one of the first geothermal power plants in all of Iceland. And now we will fly towards the lava which spill it back on February 8th. Here you see the Blue Lagoon Road, which we are still using to go to Blue Lagoon. Using a new bypass road which connected it with the Grindavik Road 43. Very soon you'll see it to your right side. Now you can see it. Seismic activity has increased slightly since past weekend and has been most prominent just east of Mountain Silingarfat. The location of the seismic activity is in an area which is considered to be the eastern tip of the magma reservoir which is centered beneath the Svartsangi Thorpjord area. The current seismicity is similar to that observed days before previous volcanic eruptions in the area. Therefore, Icelandic Met Office has updated the hazard assessment for the unrest area, increased likelihood of volcanic eruption and related hazards affects the assessment. Hazard levels have been raised in several zones. Even though the color of Zone 4 Grindavik remains unchanged, the hazards there have increased due to the possibility of lava flow. Same goes for Zone 1 Swartzengi. No significant deformation within Grindavik has been detected by satellite data. It is however likely that new faults will be revealed when snow melts or precipitation causes soil which might be covering falls to be washed away. If an eruption occurs, scientists estimate that magma will most likely propagate from the reservoir beneath the Svartsengi Thorpjord region towards Sunukur 
create a row resulting in lava fontaine and lava flows in the area between Storas Kogafet and Hagafet. The primary signal of ascending magma is a sudden increase in seismic activity with many localized small magnitude earthquakes. Considering the previous volcanic eruptions in the area, an eruption could start with very little warning, less than 30 minutes, depending on where a magma reaches the surface on the Sunnukur crater row. A new volcanic eruption might pose a threat to the airport highway, and the road administration is looking into the possibility of using other parts of the road network in Reykjanes to keep Kaplavik Airport open. An interesting fact had been observed by Torvaldur Tordason, leading Icelandic volcanologist, that the most recent February magma which we are currently looking at is different in composition from the lavas that we have seen in January and December eruptions. Thorvaldur has also put forward the theory that this may be explained by the fact that the mantle plum under the country which has its center under Vatna Yokut glacier has strengthened and stretched under the Reykjanes Peninsula with these consequences as it is more similar to the lava that has flowed from Askia, Vejdivot and even Grimsfjord volcano in the interior parts of Iceland. Yesterday, as you know, perhaps we had an earthquake of magnitude 3.4 east side of Kleivarvat Lake, which is somewhat further east uh, from the lagoon, about 20 km distance. The last earthquake of similar magnitude at Kleivarvat was recorded on November 13th, magnitude of 3.5. Elizabeth Palmadotir, a natural disaster expert at the Icelandic Met Office, tells that the earthquake at Kleivarvat is probably unrelated to the Grindavik metamorphic zone. Of course, all this magma that is pushing up in Svartsengi is causing tension in the entire Reykjanes Peninsula, says Elizabeth, but reiterates that it is unlikely to indicate a possible eruption at Kleivarvat. Icelandic Met Office had a meeting with the residents of Grindavik today, and they presented lava flow models in relation to probable scenarios that were published last weekend. The models assume a constant lava flow of 600 cubic meters per second, somewhat less than the last time, and shows the distribution of lava within 6 hours. The models presented show the estimated lava flow based on different locations of an eruption opening at Sunnuka Giger Crater in these scenarios and 800 meters long uh, fissure eruption is assumed and eruption could start with little notice less than 30 minutes depending on where at Sunnukagir Cratero the magma emerges. Sign that magma is making its way up to the surface come in sudden localized and intense micro seismic activity. So here we are completing our flight and using an occasion, I wish you a pleasant day, wherever you are. Peace and blessings from Iceland. Be well and God bless.